Greetings, my father's children. We want to extend a happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers. We're excited about today's message. The title of today's message, It is Hard to Be Still. Dr. LaFaber, it's a blessing to be with you again. And our title is very true. It is hard to, uh, to be still. You know, it's just hard. Uh, uh, we have become wired to be moving fast and always in a hurry for too many things. And sometimes we don't even realize uh, that we are rushing. But um, God wants us to be still. And it's a reason for that. He wants us to slow down. So let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come today yes. and uh, we just look to you and give you thanks for all your blessings and all your mercy and grace that you extend to us, O oh Lord. And sometimes, dear Lord, when we forget you and we leave you out uh, of, of our lives, dear God, you still make a way and you still yes. keep looking out for us, O oh Lord. But Lord, help us to become more attentive to seeking you, to acknowledging you, Lord, and help us just to take time and slow down, Heavenly yes. Father, so we may learn to know you, because once we learn of your goodness and, and how great you are, O oh Lord, that it will make us better people. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Pastor. Thank you for that prayer. We live in a society of hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 yes. Most people take little or no time to focus on the Creator God, and they take even less time to quiet and still the mind and the soul. What are we talking about in this message? We are talking about what it means to be still Amen. and silent before God. God wants us to slow down and listen for Amen. his voice. Yes. Many of the voices that we hear today is not his voice. That's right. Sometimes it is Satan's voice. Mm -hmm. And other times it is our voice. Yeah. That we so hear. if we don't slow down, Dr. Man, really a pay attention to God and seek his faith in prayer, then we're not going to recognize what voices we are hearing. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. If we slow down. Amen. And be still before God, we will exalt him in the nation. Yes, we will. When we get too busy to sit and listen to God, we thwart his plan of working on our behalf. We, we just don't leave a space for God, you know. Uh, too many our the spaces in our lives are filled with too many other things, things that we like, things that we are interested in. And when we do that, we, we really thought God planned uh, for wanting to come in and help us in every situation and every circumstance. Amen. Thank God Amen. for the admonition in our text today that calls on all human beings to be still and learn who God is. You know that this is a, you might say it's a famous, uh, well-known text, but how many people really know how to take it in Amen. and receive the benefits uh, from this great text? Our key text is found in Psalms chapter number 46, verse 10. The psalmist said, Be still and know that I am God. What he's talking about, be still so you can learn, you can come into the knowledge of God, that you can learn about his great attributes, that he is the head, he is the Lord, he is the creator, he is the sustainer of life, he is the way maker, he is our comfort, he is our peace, he is our everything, and he inhabits this eternity. So we need to know and have the knowledge of our God so we can exalt him and lift him up at every opportunity. Amen. The text says, I will be exalted among the heathens. I will. He said he's going to do it anyway. He said, I'll tell you right now, listen, people. He said, you know what? I'm going to be exalted before the heathen because even the heathen one day 
they're going to have to recognize who God is, but it could be can be too late. And everybody will. One day. He said, I'm going to be exalted. Yeah, why? Because he is master. He is Lord. He got all power in his hand. And everybody come, got to come by him at some point. Praise God. Thank you for weighing in on that. Amen. The text says, I will be exalted will. in the earth. Yes, he will. Let's look at this same text from the New English Translation. Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. He says, stop your striving. Stop striving. Come on. And recognize that I am God. A lot of people not doing this. I will be exalted over the nations. I will be exalted. I will be exalted mm. over the earth. Yes. What does God want us to learn from this text? I believe that God wants us to learn that if we want him to assist us more and fight My God. the battles that we cannot fight, we must be still and listen to his word. Amen. What does it mean to be still? The command to be still in Hebrew means to let go and stop your striving. We have, we have to admit, you know, too many people, the whole culture seems like striving, striving, striving. Uh, we're running after one thing or another, and many times that thing we are running after uh, has no space for God. You get on the highways, you see how people just running up and down the road in a hurry or uh, not paying attention. Why? Because they're leaving God out. They don't have that focus on God. And many of us are victim of this in some way. Amen. In some way, we are victim of, uh, of not uh, of thinking about God and acknowledging Him and giving Him first place. Praise God. Thank you for expounding on that, Pastor. Remember what Jesus said in Luke chapter 6, verse 46, from the King James Version, and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? You know, God get kind of tired of that. You know, you get upset with that because people, too many times, they'll cry, Lord, this, Lord, that, and they'll call them when they really need something, and they'll make all these claims. But when it really comes down to it, how much time are we giving God? How much of the space of our lives that God is uh, filling? that we align him to feel. Glory to God. Yeah. When we are anxious yes. and too busy, yeah. we don't see the hand of God working on our behalf. We just can't see it. We just can't see his hand. Isaiah chapter number one, verse two through three, the prophet said, Hear, O heavens, mm -hmm. and give ear, my God, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. The Lord has spoken. Let's see what he said. Come on. I know I know you listen. Let's see what the Lord say, what the Bible say. I have nourished and brought up children. My God. And they have rebelled against me. Mm -hmm. The ox knoweth his owner mm -hmm. and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know my people do it not consider. That's what you're talking about. He's talking about, you know, even though, you know, these are my people, you know, I'm the way maker, you know, I'm the one that gives you life. I'm the one that have a heaven to put you in. But too many times people are not considering me. Amen. They're not giving me enough space in their lives. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 12, from a new international version says, they have harps. I and, like the, I like this. Come on. And liars mm -hmm. at their banquets, mm -hmm. pipes and. So he's what he's saying. People are having a good time, and people, you know, are they're partying, and all of these things they're having parties and a good time, but they just leaving me out. That's, Praise God. It's very unfortunate, and God just want us to really rethink some things. Just rethink some things, so so that He can work more in our behalf. Praise God. They have. Banquets and pipes yes. Banquets, and timbrels yeah. and wine. Having a good time. But they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord. Lots of people are doing that without even thinking, you know. You know, they're using God power, God strength, and God resources just to have a good time. And we all been there. And, you know, a lot of times uh, people, you know, they go out, they make money, doctor, and they earn money. 
and at the same time the money goes and uh, they do not uh, do to, uh, and acknowledge God uh, with that money but they say you know I'm not really throwing money away but, but when you really look at what you have gained from the money Amen. then you have given it to other people and, uh, to make their lives better and you leaving out helping the creator to promote his kingdom. Praise God. Yes. Amen, Amen. Pastor. Amen. The text goes on to say no respect yes. for the work of his hands. So no respect for my hand. You know, I'm doing, you know, I'm working on your behalf. You know, I'm the one giving you the strength. I'm giving you Praise the strength. God. I'm giving you the help. But you know, look, no respect for that. And that's what God wants us to take a look at that this. I know maybe a lot of people, this is not your intentions, but you know, this help clarify things for us. When we look at a text like this, when we look at a message like this, it makes us think. Yes. And we want to think. As you can see, mm -hmm. when people get too anxious, yes. they don't really see what the hand of God is doing in their lives. They don't even see it. They're too busy, yes. And they don't give him honor. Yes. Now, let us look at some important aspects of our text in Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. Point number one, the principle, sit still and be still. Be still. Stop. Slow down. Take time. Your reference verse yes. is Philippians chapter number four, verse six. The scripture says, be careful or be anxious for nothing. Okay. But a lot of times we are anxious. And sometimes we do this uh, such a period of time. We don't even feel it. We don't even, we're not even aware Amen. of the fact that we are anxious, that we are just just pushing too fast. Praise God. We're pushing too hard and leaving God out of the space of our life. We just kind of, uh, in a hurry, we get up. First thing we get up, you know, what time it is, you know, what phone, what this and what that. I got to do this, I got to do that. And we don't leave any space Praise for God. the Creator. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that, Pastor. Leaving space for the Creator God. Being anxious and not, not even realize. Sometimes you don't even have, may not even have time to. Make breakfast, not time to uh, to get a cup of coffee or whatever you may need. There are many times we just rush, 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 and we don't realize it. Praise God. God, not he doesn't want us to do that. So your principle is to sit still and be still. Be still. And the apostle said here in Philippians 4 and 6, be careful for nothing, yeah. but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. The word is right. The word is right. The God is saying, slow down, slow down and take time and come to me and ask me for the, the essential things, the things that's going to cause you to quieten down and to let me feel, feel more of this space in your life. Praise God. Number two, let us focus more intently on the God of the scriptures. That makes sense, doctor. That makes all the sense in the world. In Psalm chapter number 91, verse 14 through 15, the Bible says... It's in the Bible. Go ahead. It's in the Bible. Because he had set his love upon me. Mm -hmm. Talking about God here. That's right. Therefore will I deliver him. That's right. I will set him on high. God is saying what he'll do whenever we become still and think about him and learn about him and get to know him. He telling us what he will do. Go ahead. Praise God. God. He goes on to say, why? Because he had known my name. See, you know my name. You know me. You know me. You know me. You know my name. But we get in too big a hurry. Again, we rushing too fast, uh, moving too fast, and thinking too much about the things that doesn't really count. Hey, take up too much of uh, God's time. Praise God. Go Verse number 15, he shall call upon me. Mm -hmm. And I will answer him. Yes. I will be with him in trouble. If you're listening to me and paying attention to me and being still and acknowledging who I am. Praise God. I will deliver him and honor him. Absolutely. Number three, let us ponder mm -hmm. or think strongly yeah. about who God is. Let's contemplate this thing. Let's meditate on this thing. Let us chew on this thing. Praise yes. God. Your biblical text is John chapter 5 verse 39, the Bible says, search the scriptures. Search them, search them. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. Amen. A lot of times people think that they are 
traveling the right pathway and doing the right thing, but they didn't hold up Praise their God. lifestyle and what they're really doing against the Word of God. Praise God. Thank you for that, Pastor. Holding up your life against the Word of God. Yes. And they are they which testify of me. Yeah, the, the Scripture, they testify. They'll let you know what God's saying. You get in the Word, you know, with somebody who knows the Word and under the Word because it's just right there in the Scripture. You'll get to know me. That's what he's saying. You'll get to know me. Praise God. And, and we need to know God more. Yeah, that's the only thing standing between uh, uh, us and the right kind of su success is to get to know him. Praise God. Our next reference for let us ponder or think strongly about who God is, is John chapter 5, verse 47. The text Amen. says, but if ye believe not his writings. Okay, got to believe the writing. It's, it's in the book. We got to meditate on it. We got to think about it. We got to chew on this thing. We got to take it in and we got to digest it because if we don't take it in, it's not going to do us any good. Praise God. We got to take these writings in. Come Thank on, you for God. those principles, Pastor. Yeah. How shall ye believe my words? That's right. God's word in this text mm -hmm. and any text is to be still and know that God is God. He's saying you've got to get to know me. Because if you don't know me, you're not going to serve me. What, he's, what, what that implies, oh, you're not going to serve me. You're not going to love me. You're not going to allow me to have a good place in your life, to have first place. Praise God. This means that he is master, he is commander. To get to know him, you get to know who he is. What? He is, he is master, master. He is commander. He is commander over all creation. Yes. And we, as a people of God, must acknowledge him for who he is. Oh, yes, yes. Number four, as we become to know God better, then something inside us will move us to surrender to his will and his way. Oh, boy, isn't that, isn't that the truth? James chapter 4, verse 7, the Bible says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, yes. and he will flee from you. You know, doctor, I thank God for the word because it's right there. It's plain as day. It's plain as the nose on your face. He tells us, he is clear, and it makes all the sense in the world exactly what we need to do. Praise God. You know, it's so wonderful. Just take out a little time and be still and surrender to him and submit ourselves to him, and you'll see everything a ton around. Praise and God. It'll work out a whole lot better. Let us look at what Jesus told his disciples mm. in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. The Bible says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, yes. let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. So as you can see, if we want God to work on our behalf, we have to be obedient to his word. We got to do something, yes. Our point number five, if we want to be successful, and we want quietness of mind I think and soul. We do. I think we do. I think we really want, want to have quietness of mind and quietness of, of soul. I think we really want the ability to slow down and, and, and look inside of, of ourselves and, and look for the voice Praise of God. God. I, I think we do. We do, Pastor. Amen. Thank you for that. Slow down and look for the voice of God inside of our lives. Mm -hmm. If we want to be successful, yeah. and if we want quietness of mind and of soul, and if we want quietness of consciousness, let us act on God's holy word every day. Every day. Every day. It's an everyday thing. Allow him to fill these spaces and these areas in our life every day. Let us do what he says. Yes. In Matthew chapter number 7, verse 21 the scripture says, not everyone mm -hmm. that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, you know, that, that's what God, you know, I'm pretty, it upsets him uh, that when many times people cry, Lord, this and, and, and call on that, but they do not uh, realize that we must do what he says. Amen. And, and it's not that hard to follow the great commander, the master of our soul. 
uh, to do what he said. Yeah. Thank you for that, that, that Pastor. That, that benefits us to do that. Doing what the Lord says, putting his word into practice. And always look to see what God says about everything. Everything. About everything. That's you know, that can be our testimony. What does the Lord say about this? What does the Lord say about our circumstances? What does the Lord say about how we feel? What does, does the Lord say about what we are thinking? What does the Lord say about it? You know, how we are treating people, how we're responding to each other. What does the Lord say about it? Thank you for that. How are we pastor. using our resources? What does the Lord say about it? What does the Lord yeah, say about know, it? How we, how we take care of ourselves. What does the Lord say about it? You know, what does he say about it? Praise God. Thank you for that principle, Pastor. What does the Lord say about every area of our lives? Yes. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Yeah. If we take the right action. You know, I think some people are getting ready to do that. I think some people who haven't done it in the past, they haven't taken the right action. Uh, that is kind of like, you know, it's a wake up. It's a wake up. So I think people are waking up, say, wait a minute, let me turn this thing around. Amen. Because what I've been, the way I've been traveling, going about my own voice and listening to what other people say and listening to their own voice in my head, it have not gotten me uh, the intimacy and the things Praise that I God. need with God. Come Amen. on, preacher. Praise God. The scripture says, but he that doeth the will of my yeah. Father which is yeah. in heaven. Mm -hmm. Now, if we take the right action, as Pastor take Wade in, right we will be inspired by God and we will be able to activate the work of the Holy Spirit for all circumstances and situations. You know, I believe people are getting ready to do that. I do believe more people are getting ready to slow down and be still. Praise God. And and get to know God. Get to know God is God. Praise God. And getting ready to listen at him and, and see his handiwork and everything. I think people are, um, you know, cup is getting full. Yes, Pastor. I think they're getting tired uh, going the same old way and not reaping a good a benefit. So really, people want more quietness of soul inside because they find out that things it just doesn't Amen. satisfy. It just doesn't satisfy uh, the things out there. So I think people it, it, uh, doubt, they want to get to know God more now. They want to learn. And Thank they you know how to do this. They got to slow down. Praise they God. must slow down. And it's just a little bit of thinking, a little bit of thinking, uh, stop us in our tracks and say, wait a minute, what have I been thinking? Amen. And sometimes they say, oh, what a fool I've been. I can't believe that I have not been giving God Amen. space and time in my life. And they will say that, oh, what a fool I've been. Yeah, you know, I want to get I want to get to know Praise my God. master, you know. If, if animals can get to know their master, I want to get to know my master. I must do it. Thank you for weighing in on that, yes. Pastor. We want quietness on the inside, mm -hmm. and we want to get to know our oh, master yes. better. Yes. In James chapter number two, our principle is that, but in order for us to be a recipient mm -hmm. of God's mighty power right. to work on our behalf, we have to activate and be active doers of the Holy Scripture. So we really have to ask that Holy Spirit, come on in, Holy Spirit. Fill these spaces in my life and show me how to listen, listen to my Creator more, how I can get to know Him more. Amen. And get to know Him in a way that it caused me to reflect my knowledge of Him and how I live. In Praise the world. God. James chapter 2, verse 14. Your text says, What doeth their prophet, my brethren? Though a man say he have faith. Yeah. And have not worked. Nothing, nothing. Go ahead. Can faith save them? No. Alone, no. If he Praise got, God. He don't show, he don't really show uh, um, uh, any evidence of really showing that he, they believe in God. Praise yeah. God. Thank you for that. So now let us look close at three principles mm -hmm. of what we have learned from this message. Principle number one. Let us take time daily to be still before Creator God. Be still before our Creator. Do that and do it now. Come on. And as our text said in Philippians, let us be anxious mm -hmm. for nothing. Let us slow down and stop uh, caring about all these other things and start to caring about by having the right relationship with our Creator. Praise God, Pastor. 
And when we find ourselves anxious and, and you will be worried, anxious. you will get anxious and worried sometimes. Nobody is exempt from that. Nobody. And cumbersome with yeah. many cares. Yes. Let us bring our problems to Christ right. and seek answers in the word of God. See, when we listen to God and we be still before him, you know, you can hear a quiet voice inside of you say, bring this to me. Praise God. Don't struggle with that thing. But see, what happens, uh, doctor, when we are not listening to God and we're not sitting still and being silent before God, we don't really, really hear what he want us to do Praise God. and how you want us to handle things and approach things. Now, you won't hear an audible voice, but it, it will just come to you. It will come to your mind what you should do in Praise certain God. Situ in situation. And yes, absolutely. Amen. Thank Praise you for God. that, Pastor. Christ gave us a good example he did. of what it means to put first things first. You know, because sometimes uh, you can be doing something. It can be, it can not, it might not be a sinful thing. <laughs> It might be a good thing, but if you don't really think about God and you don't you don't put Him first, then you might be leaving out that opportunity for Him to commune with us, Amen, and talk to us and encourage us and help us. Praise God! So I think that's what Jesus would tell uh, us in this uh, example. Thank you for that, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Go on the journey with us in Luke chapter ten, verse thirty-eight through forty-two. As Pastor unpacks this text, the scripture says, now, verse 38, now it came to pass yes. as they went that he entered into a certain village. Yes. And a certain woman named Martha, she received him into her house. Verse 39, and she had a sister called Mary, All right. which also sat at Jesus' feet. Now look at this. She, she was not she was being still, you know, or sitting at his feet implies stillness. It implies uh, meditation. It, 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 it replies, it implies that she was thinking about the master. She was thinking about the master. Yes. And pastor, the text says, and heard his word. And listen to that. And you know what I tell you what? It's such a beautiful thing. When you, when we slow down and we be still, we will hear the word of God. Now, I can tell you another way too. What happens when you pile all this word up on the inside and hear His word? When you sit in still God. in meditation, that word will be brought to you. Amen. So sometimes when there is a need, uh, uh, when you would rip and run or get too over anxious, if you listening to God, He will tell you. He will speak to you. Uh, from the word that you already heard. Praise God. Thank you the for that. The word that you already heard. I like that, Pastor. The word that you have already heard, if you have heard it. Thank you, Pastor, for encouraging us to pile yeah. that word up on the yes. inside of us, yeah. and that word will come Praise back to God. our remembrance. Praise yes. God. Verse number 40 says, But Martha, but Martha. it's her sister here, yeah. was cumbered about much serving. Yeah. And came to him. She was a little bit too concerned and worried about all the people there and trying to get the food ready and all that. And uh, sometimes food can really take priorities over a whole lot of things. Praise God. Yes, absolutely. We have to be careful about that. Amen. Because when people want to eat, they'll drive miles. Sometimes they do a lot of things. But when it comes to, they have time to do that. Can I get a witness? Amen. Thank you for that, Pastor. If we're not careful. And eating is a good thing. They have time for that. But sometimes they say, I have no, they don't have time for other things because they have used up all that time for something else. Praise Come God. On. Thank you for that, Pastor. Praise and God. said, Lord. Said, Lord. Do thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Now, you know, she really thought she was onto something there. And, uh, and a lot of people, when you look at it, you think, well, what's she done sitting there at Jesus' feet and that woman in there cooking and trying to get the meal ready? But see, Jesus knows everything. He does. You know, he knows everything. And good thing about Jesus, he'll give us an answer uh, that goes against uh, what the culture would give Praise him. God. Amen. Thank you for that. Let's see what, what he's going to say. This is important. She said, bid her therefore... That she helped me. You can tell her help me. Help me. She's sitting there. But you see, um, sometimes when, when, when you sit in before God, you're receiving something so much better than 
anything that you can Amen. do at the moment. Come on. Praise God. Verse 41. Yeah. And Jesus answered mm -hmm. and said unto her, mm -hmm. Martha, Martha. Martha, Martha. Thou art careful or worried and troubled about many things. About many things. She, she, was, she didn't even realize, you know, how anxious that she was in her spirit and all this ripping and running and stress. She didn't even realize that. And what helps us in this message today, we are the same way. We're the same way, you know. We're just ripping and running. We don't have time. We got to run out the door every day. We have to. We don't have a minute for anything. Praise God. Uh, and we, we're just in too big a hurry. And when you get like that, you just leave so many things undone, and it makes your day not go as well. And you're not as creative. Amen. And you don't think things through as well. Praise God. Yeah. Our final verse, verse 42. Yeah. But the one thing is needful. One thing is needful. And Mary had chosen that good part, which shall not be taken it should away not be from taken. her. And the same thing in our message today, you know, if you will choose to be still before God, to be quiet and, and meditate and listen and think, about God and think about you know what he is doing Amen. in your life and what he is doing in creation spend a little time uh, thinking about meditating and pondering of who God is and what he, what he is doing allow him to fill some of that space and that would be the right thing and the productive things pastor thank you for another powerful message oh, thank you. on it's hard to be still and we're so excited that you tuned in to this message yeah. on this mother's day and we hope that you were blessed by this message. And we yes. ask that you'll share this message with 10 people. And if you were blessed by it and mm -hmm. we know that you were, we ask that you give it a thumbs up. And uh, we ask that you also subscribe to our channel. Uh, and we pray that God Praise will continue God. to bless you and make his face to shine upon you. Final word from our pastor. Yes, so Dr. Little Favor, in summary, uh, what would you say that is a couple practical insights that you have uh, gained from this message today. Thank you for that, Pastor. Insights that I gained from this message today is how valuable it is mm -hmm. to be still, to be quiet and silent before God and to get to know Him right. and realize that it is possible that we can get in such a hurry mm -hmm that we can miss the hand of God yes. and what he's doing in our lives. And like you mentioned that all of creation yeah. uh, knows that's the master. Right. That's right, that's right. The ox knows the master. That's right. The ass knows the master, Isn't but we something? become too busy and anxious. So pastor, what we need to do is daily just take time to be still before God and to seek yeah. his face and also practical things that we do when we wake up in the morning don't just jump out of bed and right. start running right. acknowledge god as the bible says acknowledge him in all your ways and he'll direct your path and like you mentioned that we'll find more creativity right. uh, when we right. do that daily so this message was a blessing to me uh, and i'm encouraged by this message and thank right. god for all those principles that you were able to lay out before us today Thank you, Dr. LaFaber. Be blessed and happy Mother Day to everyone. May God bless you and keep you.